Having just got out of the cinema, I've seen The Tunnel of Summer, The Exit of Goodbyes. I was excited to check this movie out. I've had my ticket booked for at least two or three weeks now. But does this movie live up to the expectation that I had? Absolutely, it does. You've got to check this one out. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for taking your own time to check out this spoiler free review of The Tunnel of Summer, The Exit of Goodbyes. Directed by Tomohisa Taguchi, and this is based on a light novel by Mei Hachimoku, and Mei Hachimoku and Tomohisa Taguchi write this movie. And the movie is centred on two characters called Kaoru Tono and Anzu Hanashiro, as both of them discover a tunnel that grants them a wish, but in exchange, it costs them time. So that's all I'm going to kind of say without giving too many spoilers here or this plot, because I knew kind of the basics of this movie going into it, but that's kind of all I knew. After I left this movie, though, guys, I'm going to be honest, I was nearly in tears with this runtime of only an hour and 23 minutes this movie just captivated me and i was really just over the moon that it did now just before we go further into today's review i would like to say a huge thank you to all my awesome patrons who helped to really support the channel if you're interested in joining patreon and if you're interested in buying some merch or checking out my debut book there is a link down below in the description box you can click where you can find all that good stuff over on patreon membership start from only two pounds per month you get access to so much extra content such as early videos movie reviews watch parties and so much more thanks for listening really appreciate it. now let's get back on to my thoughts and let's get into the positives the music here is absolutely fantastic there is some catchy numbers but then there's also some sad numbers as well and i think the tonal shift of the music balances it all really well for what is playing out in front of you also the story here is a simple story that fills in the hour and 23 narrative but it's a simple story that's done well it tries to get you emotionally invested and i think the film does a pretty good job of doing that because on our two characters that this is primarily focused on you get given enough time or enough kind of you know to their personalities and kind of backbone stories to care about them and care about their journeys and see how that's going to progress and play out throughout the entire short duration that this movie has the animation style itself is beautiful and stunning to look at this tunnel itself is just a beautiful and a wonder and you're going to be like wow i kind of want to go in there but at the cost of time yeah maybe not so much and yeah i was just kind of find myself like nearly in tears at the end of this movie i really really had a good time with this i i was hoping that it was going to just be a good anime movie but definitely an anime movie that i really enjoyed and i'm definitely going to be adding to the physical media collection i enjoyed it that much and i actually can't really wait to check it out again at the moment in the uk as i'm recording this video it does have like kind of like a limited cinema release so i managed to check it out at my uh, Cine World that is a little bit further away from where I live but I managed to check it out there where it is only showing like one showing a day I do know there's another cinema like nearby that's showing it like twice a day if you're thinking okay well Mike have you got any negatives here or like any kind of criticisms for this movie yeah I, I think I've got like a couple nothing like too major but I guess more that things of like I wanted to see personally because as I mentioned before with this short runtime of only an hour and 23 minutes I think the film does suffer a little bit in terms of kind of the backstories we get behind our characters because as I mentioned before we kind of get like bare bone stuff we get enough to care about those characters and I was certainly invested maybe more than others for example but I wish there was a little bit more backstory or a little bit more like flashbacks and a little bit more into the present day story. I think even if we filled it out an extra 10, 15 minutes a year, I think this would have really helped the film even more than what it actually produced. But have you seen The Tunnel of Summit, The Exit of Goodbyes? Or are you going to check it out? Or actually, are you just going to skip this one and just skip it all together or wait till it goes on streaming? Well, let me know any and all thoughts and your comments down below in the comment section as I would love to continue the discussion down there. But as for my overall score for this movie, I'm going to give it a 3.5.
out of five stars. I think definitely on a rewatch and maybe on a physical media release, they might have like some extended deleted scenes here that will definitely probably push this movie up to a four star, maybe even higher. Who knows? But I really enjoyed this movie, guys. Thank you so much for listening to my thoughts and my opinion on this one. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to your channel by clicking the red button down below so I can see you again on future videos. And until the next time, I'll see you. I'll be seeing you later. Thank you.